intend to translate uh, the website of Arviva in English or is it a project? Uh, yeah, uh, it's a project. I don't know if uh, we are now working on the uh, second version of SEEDS and we would like to um, to release it on uh, March uh, 24. I would like to. Um, we are not sure that we there will be an English traduction uh, at that point, uh, maybe third versions. Um, but yeah, the objective is uh, to, I mean, if it can help other countries or the like nationalities and yeah, of course we would uh, we would do it. Um, for now, we are trying to to make it uh, like used in in France, but it's clearly uh, a possibility. Yeah. Uh, uh, how do you have any numbers of how? Sorry, uh, Eloise, I don't. I. <laughs> Sorry. Do you, do you have um uh, an idea of how many data uh, did you um, did you gather since the launch of the seeds uh, tool? Um yeah, for now so the the tool was um released in January 23 and uh, for now we have uh almost uh, 2,000 um, accounts uh, and um, kind of, uh, yeah, uh, uh, the same amount for projects. Um, so, yeah, it seems like people are using it. We see it every every day, like people, people are using uh, it for their projects. Um, a lot of them also just created a, uh, an account to to see uh, what what it was and to 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 try it to test it. But um, yeah, people are are little by little uh, using okay. it. Uh, and uh, are you authorized to use the data that they put inside the tool, or you cannot? Um, no, you can. Uh, good, good question. Um, when you create, um, uh, maybe I can I can show you like uh, sharing my screen. Um, so when you, uh, maybe I can go just first uh, on the. Um, on the on our website so if you go to arviva uh, point org you have um the website and you have uh, something uh on the on the right uh, which is called seeds so you just have to click on it and um you arrive uh, on the seeds uh, main uh, uh, website page so if you are uh, here i was connected uh, with my account but if you don't have an account you arrive here uh, and you can um, you can create uh, an account and when you do it uh, you have to um, check the box uh, to accept the the using conditions including uh, that we uh, we want to gather uh, the data uh, of course uh, and anonymize uh, is it correct um, and and of course uh, like yeah gather everything uh, to to yeah have some maybe some studies about uh, the environmental impact uh, global uh, of the of the sector which was one of the one of the reason we created it but um, <coughs> Yeah, of course, we don't uh, use uh, the data of uh, the individuals and the projects uh, uh, alone. We no, no, of course. Everything. But um, since when we did the, the report, uh, Decarbonize uh, Culture, it was yeah. a real difficulty to have uh, data of, um, of the cultural field. It's really, really interesting that you can gather the data uh, anonymously, of course, but you have a picture of what is the footprint of uh, the cultural sector in France. So it's really interesting. But uh, do you know if you have a different type of uh, cultural actors? Is it just like small companies? You have big uh, structure also? 
can you um, do you see that if you have an array of of uh, actor that is uh, different enough to to maybe in one year have a, a, be a good picture of what the the impact of the cultural field in France? Mm. Um, it's it's quite diverse. Uh, we 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 have big. Um, we ha also have uh, have smaller uh, companies or uh, concert halls or uh, anything. Um, we we are working now with um, some statistic uh, professional uh, to... statisticians. Stuff. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, to see if uh, if we yeah if we have enough data and if uh, it's um, sufficient uh, if it's um, diverse uh, enough to to like build uh, strong studies uh, about it but yeah it's it's quite diverse um, um, so I think that we at least uh, for this year, we we will be able to to publish something and like maybe to tackle or some yeah some kind of uh, uh, some some specific size of cultural actors that we want to um, to I don't know to to uh, publish some more specific studies after. Maybe if you have, because I think to build seeds, you had to compare the strength and the weaknesses of the other tools that existed. So maybe um, since you have a English user in front of you, which one will you recommend in order to have an English interface at the moment for uh, the participants? Mm -hmm. Yes, so um, very good question. Um, the first one I presented you, Jolie's bicycle uh, calculator. Um, this one for this one, we uh, when we created seeds, we uh, looked at this one and we use it as an example to create seeds. Uh, of course, there is a lot of other things that we added, but it was an example for us. So um, if you liked the presentation of Eloise of seeds. Um, maybe you will like this one because it's uh, it's not an English version, but there's a lot of similarities between the two, and it's a very good uh, first step, I think, um, that you can find. Um, the the only one thing I have to mention is that it's um, uh, based on only English indicators, so it's not um, it will not be useful for everybody. But if your event is organized. Uh, near well in England or in, in America or in a place where you can use those English uh, indicators it can be very very useful I think yeah do you do you all understand why um uh, why uh, if you live for instance in Spain or in Italy you can use the joyless bicycle, but it won't give you an accurate print of your carbon footprint from your country. Why the, the it doesn't work? No, because um, the, a carbon footprint is like a budget, okay? And you multiply some, for instance, if you want to calculate how um, the carbon footprint of you electricity use of your building you multiply your consumption by a factor a factor of your electric mix that is linked to your country so for instance uh, and the electric mix is different in every country because we we don't use the same power some have uh, some have coal some have nuclear some have gas there is a lot different um, source of uh, of energy to make electricity. So that it means that depending of the country you are in, your electricity consumption will not have the same emissions as another country. So you can use the bicycle tool, but the it as if you you're living in England and uh, it will use um, the data. Of the England of the of England to to calculate your carbon footprint. Would it be super complicated to 
uh, add a parameter in, in the different uh, platforms like uh, the bicycle one or the Arviva one uh, to adjust regarding the country? Is there multiple factors or only a few? Um, it, it would be easily, uh, it, it can it can be done like quite easily, I would say, because it's uh, mainly related to uh, the electric mix, uh, as Eloise said. Um, you have maybe other like uh, little difference, but for um, yeah, the main uh, the main the main problem is uh, linked to uh, the the electric mix, <laughs> which is different uh, from a country to another, and so it depends uh, like all uh, for example the train um, uh, uh, carbon uh, footprint is different uh, according to to each country, but. Um, one to 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 talk about i don't know about julie's bicycle i know that they have a uh, it's a free tool but i have um like a license and uh, as another uh, another country can uh, buy the license to adapt and to produce uh, the tool for um its own country i know that uh, canada uh, did it for uh, the tool and um, regarding um, seeds uh, i think that we if uh, we go uh, in the uh, if we decide to try to sit we would uh, also try to uh, um, make uh, or to add the carbon um, footprint data uh, inside so that when you choose uh, a language or a country uh, the tool adapts uh, itself to the the data and the, the carbon footprint emission. So, yeah, I think it it will it won't be the most difficult. It. Um, Eloise. Yeah. I have a question about seeds. Um, yeah. We were looking at it, but from the calculator part. Yeah. But my question is like maybe now that we are involved in this like a project now we are a bit trained on the actions maybe to, to yeah. take but um, my question is like if i'm not expert and you provide me some recommendations at the end but yeah. which is the level of details and you know, depth of these um recommendations the plan d'action that you are proposing i i can effectively then take decisions and take actions that can reduce my uh, impact um yeah thank you for your question um uh yeah we so maybe if i start uh, sharing again again my screen um so we seeds um like suggest you some actions and um i would say uh, honestly uh, there are still quite uh, basic ones. Um, we are tr right now working to improve it uh, for the next version um, in uh, next year. Um, for now, you have um, just a title with um, uh, an action, for example, here, um, uh, to um, only use uh, one uh, vegetarian food for uh, your team. And um, if you click on it, uh, it can it leads you to our website where we had we we already one of the first project of uh, Arviva was to create that kind of uh, action guide or I don't know how you, how to traduce it, but still uh, it's not really really uh, um, complete and de depending on the action. Uh, you have some resources uh, and some uh, that, uh, yeah, like a, a little text and uh, other uh, website where you can find uh, information, but it's not so, so complete and uh, we would like to, uh, yeah, improve it um, quite uh, quite uh, quickly so at least you have uh, you have also the in uh, some indication about um the amount uh, the budget of the action and also the time that you need to um 
to to do it uh, you can also uh, filter the action with um like here we are talking about uh impact but you can also um filter it uh through the budget uh um indicator or time indicator so yeah it's not it's not so um uh, complete but we would like to to improve yeah, i think it's the, it's going to be really a very, a very value added section mm -hmm. like to to make it complete yeah for sure because one of i already said it but uh one of our goal uh was uh firstly to have people uh doing actions and uh, like uh, the results are not so important uh, for us and uh, yeah we think that the action by page is really um, the most important thank you um, i still have a question on the circular economy and the biodiversity measurements yeah so i was wondering how did you identify the score so how did you decide which i say it so which activity um, goes to score for of b for example for biodiversity do you get my question so yeah. how do you say which is good engagement for bi biodiversity and which isn't sufficient yeah uh, thank you for your question and uh, as i said so the first step of creating seeds was to list uh, all the all the any kind of um, question topic that could have uh, that was linked to our activities and that could have an, an environmental impact. So we had like a big list of two hundred uh, um, lines, and we when we start working with a biodiversity expert, for example, we just uh, gave them uh, that list, uh, saying, "Okay, can you please in identify inside." Uh, this list uh, which line is directly connected to biodiversity uh, issues uh, so they did it they also add some uh, line that we didn't uh, identify at first um, and uh, after if I maybe I can I can show you it's in it's in French but um, maybe it could uh, still um help you to understand how we proceeded um uh, once they had uh, this final uh, list of every um, everything that was linked to our activity and that had a biodiversity uh, impact oh sorry <laughs> Um, they started to um, uh, give a score uh, depending to the answer that will be uh, give for every question. Like for example, uh, here you have um, an extract of the final uh, study that the biodiversity expert gave us. And so you have, uh, for example, the, um, uh, yeah, this one is a, is a good example. You can see the last uh, line, um, the person part of um, uh, organic meal, uh, organic food against uh, the the whole uh, food. And um, for example, we would like, we wanted to um, uh, have um, to like, um how how would you say uh, valorize put forward uh, enhance to enhance yeah thank mm -hmm. you to enhance um the use of organic food but we can't do it on the carbon uh, level because uh, the data is not clear and we can't uh, like really uh, be sure that uh, organic food uh, is um um emitting uh, less carbon than um usual or 
uh, ordinary food. So we used uh, also the biodiversity score to enhance uh, that uh, specific aspect that we couldn't um, enhance through the carbon result. And so you can see here that uh, this question linked to the organic use of uh, the organic food um, has uh, several answer uh, possible. And if you, for example, if you answer that uh, your uh, food is uh, more than 90% uh, organic, then you have the score five out of five for this question. And then it um, improve your global biodiversity score. I don't know if I make things clear. Yeah, thank you, Eloise. I was really interested in these Echelle notations yeah. to understand how you evaluated each aspect of biodiversity protection. So thank you very much. You're welcome. And uh, also I wanted to mention that we only we created uh, with experts that uh, notation scale, but uh, it's maybe not the good uh, or the best uh, one. And you also have some um, uh, method um, internationally uh, recognized, which, uh, uh, for example, ACV, uh, Analyse de Cycle de Vie uh, in French, and like it's an international um, uh, method, uh, including carbon, but also uh, an amount of other uh, environmental uh, issues like biodiversity, water, but a lot, a lot of, of uh, them also. And um, so we, you can also look uh, that method if you if you want to to have information. Thank you, Louise. Is there uh, another question? No. Maybe just, uh, sorry to be obsessed by this idea, but uh, is there any uh, ongoing plan to traduce, to translate uh, seeds? Um... Uh, as I said, uh, it's it's in the possible development of uh, the tool, um, yeah. uh, but I I I can say that we seriously uh, consider it for the so not maybe the second version because we are uh, already working on it and um, for uh, a lot of uh, budget question and time and everything we can't uh, afford it for for now but uh, yeah i think that the other version that we want to we would like to release uh, by the end of 24 beginning of 25 um we could have uh, uh, the possibility to traduce the tool yeah but it will also mean that to change the back office and you put a European indicator behind every factor. So it means also a really hard work of changing your indicators because the electricity mix of the Europe, if you gather all the country of you of the European Union, is not the same as the, uh, the electricity mix indicator for France, for instance. So it changed a lot of things in the back office. And if you want to have an indicator by country, it's really, really complicated. It, uh, so it will take time in order to develop it, I think, and to gather the data. But it's, it sounds like a European project. <laughs> Do it. I mean, to gather the, 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 the partners in that frame and to, to, yeah, to, to transform this different initiatives in different country into a European project. But maybe there is already one at stake. I, I, I hope, to... I hope, yeah, I think hope. Uh, maybe there is. Um, mm. It would be good if you could ask maybe the desk, uh, Europe Creative Desk, if there is a project of um, European calculator, but that took in, into account the specificities of each country and not a global uh, one. Mm -mm. For sure, we, we will look at, at it because uh, uh, 
there is also a question of uh, harmonization of uh, all our uh, huh. calculation huh. method. And so even if seeds is not going to be uh, uh, the number one calculator in Europe, we are uh, aware of, uh, we have to discuss between all the already existing calculator to to have a uh, yeah to to can mm. to be able to compare also and to uh, and to to use uh, uh, the different one yes and uh, maybe Bruno uh, maybe it's even more horizon the horizon uh, network because it might be um, uh, considered as a scientific tool uh, more than a creative one so. I don't know um, which one of the European program should, uh, we should look into. Rosanna maybe has an idea. <laughs> um, no, unfortunately not. I just have a very practical question. And maybe, Eloise, you can help me out with it. So I'm working for a German theater. And we already are calculating our year yearly CO2 footprint, but we are now trying to um, evaluate the CO2 footprint of a theater production. And we do not know how much time we have to calculate for all the documentation and the calculation itself. So maybe you can help me out there. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you mean? Uh, how, how, um, okay, the time that you need in order mm -hmm. to do it? Approximately. It depends if you have already the tool or not. We have one. You have the tool. So yeah. it uh, it's also, do you have the data already compiled or do you need to ask every people in the organization in order to have the data? What yeah. takes, what uh, the time that you, because once you have the data, it's just put the data in an yeah. Excel box. So this is kind it's, could be kind of quick, it could be the one to three days. What is really long is to go look into the data, the data that you need. For instance, if you, if the theater has a land and put some uh, pesticide on the grass uh, and you need to know how many liters of uh, pesticide they use on the grass and you want to have this data uh, on a yearly based, it, it will took time to check all uh, the record of uh, the product that been bought and then have the right data, you know. So what took time is to go look into the right data and find people who will be able to deliver you the data that you need. Okay. It's the research part that is really long. Okay, but just to... Enter all the collected data, you would say it's only two to three days. Yeah, if you have all the data processed and into the right uh, shape, if I can mm. say it, it's, uh, yeah, one to three days. It can be really quick. It depends um the level of precision you want. It can be made in two hours if you want to be like maybe uh, really general. If you want to be very, very precise, it will take uh, one, two, three days. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Eloise, do, do you, what do you think? No, yeah. you're right. Um, you're right. Uh, people always ask us how many, how much time does it take to fill uh, seeds? And <laughs> really good question because, uh, I mean, to, to fill in the tool, it, once you have the data, it's not really, uh, it's around one hour, uh, but like to gather the data is another, um, yeah, another challenge. And that's why we uh, uh, usually we uh, suggest uh, people to start uh, measuring little projects, like just a tour, just a show, just, I don't know, some something which is uh, really clearly uh, defined uh, in, the t in time. Uh, to yeah just like go inside the data just realize how it works and like um, take uh, setup processes and stuff and then going for uh, a larger scale hmm. yeah uh, well then uh, the perimeter of your study is really really important if you want to look into the theater if you want to take the scope three into account where do you stop 
like uh, the public, uh, the artists in residence, uh, but you need to, 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 to put a strong perimeter what you will take into account and what you, what you will uh, leave out.